it's Kayla and I'm back with another video today I wanted to to do something a little bit different that I haven't done before on my channel um, something a little bit more intimate um, just a get to know me tag right so I haven't been on YouTube in a while um, and I was looking through a few of my videos and I'm like I feel like my subscribers don't know me so that's what I want you guys to do today just get to know me a little bit more okay so what I have here is I have a few questions that I googled so that you guys can get to know me. First things first, um, my name is Kayla. So that's the first thing you get to know about me. Um, the first I have here is when was the last time you cried? The last time I cried, first of all, I'm not someone that cries a lot. But I usually cry like once a month. And ladies, you know why. Like, we get very emotional around that time of the month. So, yeah. Usually I'll end up crying about something random that makes no sense. And then afterwards, I'm like, what were you crying for? Yeah, that. Do you have kids? If no, how many do you want? I don't have any kids. I used to want a ton of kids. Like, five or six I was like oh I just want a huge family but now I'm thinking maybe not I just I'm at a time in my life where I just don't see kids in my life because I don't know even though I'm about to be 27 I still consider myself a kid like I can't raise nobody okay if you were another person would you be a friend of yourself I think so. I'm a pretty good friend. Like, I'm intensely loyal. Um, and I try to be there for people. Um, but sometimes I, I can slack as a friend as well. When I get in my little moods where I don't want to be bothered. Like, don't we all get in those moods? And I just kind of be, can be a little bit negligent. But if I was someone else, I would definitely be my friend because I'm super friendly most of the time. And like I said, I'm super loyal, so yeah. Um, what's the first thing you notice about people? The first thing I notice about a person is their smile. Yeah. I like to be around happy people because then that makes me happy. If you're just like, just look at me and all the time, then I can't be around that kind of energy. I can't. So I definitely notice if a person is smiling when I first meet them. Okay. Scary movie or happy endings? I have never in my life gone to see a scary movie. And when one comes on the TV, I hear up and turn the channel because I'm scary. So no, I don't like scary movies. Um, I definitely like a happy ending. Favorite smells? My favorite smells... Um, I like the way like banana bread smells when it's bacon. Like any kind of dessert when it's bacon in the oven, that smells good. And as far as like natural smells, I like the smell of rain. Like when it's raining and you raise up the windowsill and you can smell that that breeze and the grass. I love that smell. It's just it gives me so much life. Okay. Do you have any special talents? So, if you know me well, you know that I love to sing. So, um, definitely singing would be my special talent. And I'm also a songwriter, which is something I put even more importance on in my life. It's writing songs, you know. It's so therapeutic and it really makes me happy and brings a lot of joy to my life. And guys, don't mind me. I'm just like staring at my laptop looking at these questions if you're wondering what I'm staring at. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? So I am grown, technically. I'm about to be 27, but I still don't feel like a grown up. So I'm going to say 40 is going to be grown up for me. Um, so when I grow up, um, what do I want to be? I want to be exactly what I'm supposed to be, which is happy so whatever I'm doing in my life I just want to make sure that I'm happy it doesn't matter really what I do 
as long as my happiness is, you know, at the forefront, and you know, my happiness doesn't cause anyone else harm or anything like that, then when I grow up, I wanna be happy. <laughs> okay, so let's see, what's the next question? How tall are you? I am five foot eight. I'm actually a little bit taller than that, but I'm not 5'9". I always wanted to be 5'9", because that's just such a nice height for a girl, like super tall. Um, but when I put on my heels, yeah, I'm just like an Amazon. It's awesome. Let's see. What is the least favorite thing about yourself? What is the least, what is your least favorite thing about yourself? Um, my least favorite thing about myself is that sometimes I have a hard time forgiving, practicing forgiveness. So that's something I definitely want to work on. It's just so I can grow as a person. So being more forgiving. Um, what was your favorite and worst subject in high school? So my favorite subjects in high school were art. I, I had two art classes my senior year. It was awesome. I loved it. And I also really enjoyed math because math just made sense to me. Now anything else, I did really, I did really good in school, but the subjects that I struggled and I had to work super hard to just get a decent grade in would have to be a science class because that just didn't interest me at all. Um, in reading, for some reason, I'm just not, I'm a good reader. I just don't enjoy reading. So like English classes, no, didn't like that. But math and art, those, those were my, my easy ones. I could do those pretty good. What is your favorite drink? So I'm gonna say my favorite alcoholic beverage, which is a Long Island iced tea. That's my go-to every time I go out. I want a Long Island. Yeah, it's so strong. It just gets you on your level. Yeah. If y'all have any recommendations for a good drink when you go out, let me know down in the comments because I always get that same drink and I need to expand my options just a little bit. But yeah, I like a Long Island. Okay, so the next question is, what would you name your children? Um, so I probably won't have kids, but definitely when I wanted kids, I had like a ton of names picked out. So I'll give you guys one, just in case I, I end up having a bunch of kids. I don't need y'all, I don't need y'all selling all my names, okay? Okay. So I'll tell you one name, Ryan. So if I ever happen to have a child, boy or girl, the name will be Ryan. And I have like four other names picked out, but I can't tell y'all, like I said, cause you know, people be stealing my names and my names are unique. Now Ryan is pretty basic, but it's a pretty name. So yeah. You know what? I actually had another one that I really liked, Denver. Now don't, don't take that name for me, but I'm kind of thinking about Denver. If I ever have some kids, I'll probably definitely have Orion and Denver. I love those names, those are cute. So the next question is, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? So I don't have any favorites. Um, I just like to search, you know, anything about hair, makeup, um, anything about beauty, clothes. I also like to watch a lot of videos about like different issues within the black community. I love watching videos and hearing different perspectives on that. Um, and then I also like to watch Ratchet, <laughs> Ratchet Court shows on here. Um, well, I can't say they're Ratchet, but they can get kind of Ratchet, like Paternity Court. I like watching Paternity Court. I like watching Divorce Court. Sometimes I'll watch Mari on YouTube. He has some good segments, yeah. And who else do I like to watch on here? Hmm, Wendy. Yeah, gotta watch Wendy. Um, oh, and then I can't forget 
the real i love the real i have to catch up with all their clips because i don't watch tv so usually if i'm going to catch up on a show i have to catch it on youtube i'll catch an episode on youtube or a clip um but yeah i love the real with tamara lonnie adrian and Jeannie. so those are my shows i catch up on on youtube okay how many boyfriends have you had so i have had numero uno one boyfriend and yeah next question how would you describe your fashion sense i like to have i like to be super comfortable with whatever i'm wearing um something comfortable something sexy but not to just out there i like to look sexy and classy at the same time sometimes i wear clothes that are just super baggy and then sometimes i like to put something together that's super sleek and and just like i'm really dolled up so it just depends on how i feel basically what phone do you have ios or android i have the ios apple have the um yeah the apple tell us one of your bad habits so one of my bad habits is that i'm really messy 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 like i'm really working on it but it's hard like i just will throw clothes on the floor like now nah, i need to pick up <laughs> i need to pick up so yeah and then sometimes i'll just leave something somewhere and i don't ever get it it's just and then when things pile up, I just have to go clean, 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 clean. It's terrible. So one word that describes you. Idealistic. I think that's a good, a good word to describe me. What's your favorite quotes? One of my favorite quotes is um, when a person shows you who they are, believe them. And that's something I live by. When I see red flags with people, I just... I have to get away from them. Yeah. Any pets? I do not have any pets. Um, for the longest as a child, I was very afraid of dogs. Um, I'm not really into cats. But if I ever get a pet, I'd probably get a goldfish. Because then they won't be able to jump on me. Yeah. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I am definitely an introvert. I enjoy my my alone time where I can just unwind, have a glass of wine, watch a good show. But I also have my extroverted moments where I want to be around people and go out dancing, have fun. So, but I'm definitely more introverted than extroverted. Do you consider yourself a good cook? I'm a decent cook. I definitely think I'm a, a decent cook. I can make a good, some, put some good flavors and stuff, you know, throw some spices in it, <laughs> make it happen, yeah. But the only thing is I kind of cook the same things over and over and over, so I need to get some, some new recipes to put in there, like literally every day. It's either like something with shrimp, something with some kind of beans, guacamole, maybe I'll, I'll make a fresh salsa. Um, I like salad, so I'm always making a good salad. But lately, I've been do eating a lot of junk food. I gotta chill, gotta chill. But yeah, I'm a decent cook, definitely. What's your longest relationship so far? I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I'm, it's two months, just two months, so. Maybe because I'm cray cray, that's probably why. I don't know. But anyways, that's all the questions I have today. I kind of shortened it. There were about 50 questions on this um, get to know me tag. And so I shortened it a bit. But hey, if you guys have any questions that you guys want me to answer or make a video about, any suggestions, go ahead and put that down in the comment section. And hey, if you've made it this far, you should go ahead and subscribe to me. I'm going to make more videos. And um, yeah, I definitely want you guys to stay on my channel and, and continue watching and get to know me a little bit better. I want to get to know you guys a little bit better. So yeah, but like I said, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.